Hey, good morning, y'all. Welcome to, well, I guess an unboxing today. So we were fortunate enough uh, last week, I believe it was, to receive a uh, advanced copy of Puerto Rico Deluxe Edition, which is the newest edition of Puerto Rico. And I thought instead of just tearing it open, seeing uh, what all the differences is, differences are, I thought I would go ahead and do that with y'all today. Uh, we didn't get a chance to do it last week due to us traveling to Grand Con, so we thought, uh, we, I, I thought I would do that today. So we have Puerto Rico, the classic from Andreas Seafarth, and I, I thought it would be fun. Unfortunately, I don't have the limited edition anymore, but I thought it would be fun to like break out the various versions or derivatives of Puerto Rico. So we have Puerto Rico there. Then we have San Juan. Then we have Puerto Rico, the or San Juan slash Race for the Galaxy, the board game, which I should have grabbed Race for the Galaxy actually too. And we have the new version of Puerto Rico. So there we go. Uh, now I did, I did read some stuff online on BGG about, uh, oh, it feels like a money grab, this and that. I, I have it on good authority that Rio Grande, the timing of when they released the small box of the uh, two expansions and when this came out got all messed up. Uh, unfortunately, this version of Puerto Rico got delayed quite a bit. And so it was, it was simply a, a manufacturing issue. So it wasn't a money grab. That I know for a fact. That is not at all what uh, Jay and Ken and everybody over at Rio Grande, how they work. So take that for what it's worth. It was just a timing snafu. Life happens. So without further ado, if y'all are up for it, let's, uh, let's dig in. Let's, let's see. And I'll actually grab that version and kind of have them side by side as we go along to be able to uh, show the differences. So with that said, let's, uh, let's check it out. All right, so there we go. That is the, uh, the new cover. Um, I, the only thing I did do is kind of tear the plastic a little bit because, let's face it, it's embarrassing to struggle over opening this live on camera. So there we go. So we have the new artwork, which I've heard that, uh, I've heard some people say that this is like, I, I can't remember the actor's name, the guy who plays Thor. Um, but yeah, there we go. Drying tobacco here on, in the port. All right, so we have the back there. Classic strategy game now with newly designed components. Winner of numerous national and international game prizes. All right, so let's dig into it, shall we? YouTube in the bus in the Netherlands, huh? Vincent? All right, let's toss that. All right. So you guys know as much as I do about this. I do know it doesn't have metal coins. That's about as far as I know. So there we go. Chris Hemsworth, there you go. So what do you think? I mean, I kind of see it. I get it. There you go. All right. Aaliyah style. Uh, rule book still with the uh, with the reference on the sides, which I'll be honest. I do really appreciate. I like the way they lay this out You got in Correct me which two buildings should have had their their uh, their cost switch. I can't remember which two they are um, obviously, it does include the expansion, so we have the new buildings, and if you guys can remind me which two, and we'll see if those were swapped, I'm not sure. And the Nobles expansion there, all right? Hey, Gasp, I, I hope this uh, devalues the uh, limited edition, because I really would like to get my hands back on that. Um, yeah, so I, I really would. All right, so standard Aaliyah back of it and I mean it's it's fine I mean you can see this is me flexing it so they're not bowed just just FYI just showing you the the thickness on that so you have your player boards there so 
You definitely have uh, have different artwork on this. I guess I could zoom in a little bit on that. So there you go. All right. So for having the previous the uh, the limit previously had the limited edition. I oh wow that that punches very easily. Uh, this is similar artwork, which might be identical artwork actually to the limited edition. However, the punch board size is standard punch board si thickness. It's not double thickness like the limited edition is. So, I like the artwork on it. These are nice. Oh, for what it's worth, Gasp, I I, I like playing. Puerto Rico still. I enjoy this. Yeah, this looks like the... Uh, I don't know that this is new artwork. I know that the ships are at least the same as the limited edition, and I believe as are the tiles here. I don't know about the rolls, though. The rolls might be new. I like these. These are pretty clean. Those look pretty good, I think. Huh? Right? So, I... And punch board money, and again, here, so punch thickness. There you go. Yeah, bring that back. So regular cardboard thickness on this. Somebody's got to remind me which buildings they were, and we'll see if they were uh, quote-unquote corrected. I will say, I, I do like the new artwork. These are really, really clean. And the victory point markers, so one and fives, as you can see there. Here, let's uh, let's bring it in even tighter so you guys can see that. There we go. Yeah, see, those look really good. <gasps> Hendry has never played this. We won't judge Hendry, but hopefully we can remedy that, because this is a game that deserves to be played. It's a classic and Hall of Fame for. Uh, for a reason. Okay, it's the university and the factory. So what? So the costs were or should have been or somebody clue me in. I apologize for not having that memorized. I'm looking for those buildings. I really like the new the the artwork on these. I mean, I really do. And for those wondering, it does still on the back have it laid out a little bit in description of what it is. Because I know people are going to wonder about the university and factory uh, buildings. I just can't remember what their cost was. I know they were quote unquote supposed to be swapped. Um, Factory 7, University 8, there you go. So is that swapped? Is that, somebody, somebody clue me in here. The fact, okay, so, okay, Dennis is saying the factory should cost 8 and the University 7, so those were not swapped. So I know people were going to ask about it, so there you go. I thought I would point that out, okay. Um, And so the, uh, the victory point markers, a moment, ah, let me swap, there it is, this is, uh, let me zoom that back out, sorry, there you go, so the different punch boards, I love the new artwork, so blue on one side, and they're all, you know, hidden on the other side, so, uh, ones and fives, so just as you would expect, so. All right, so it's got new artwork, it looks like, or at least the artwork from the limited edition, uh, I believe. Yeah, there you go. Limited edition artwork on that. Um, so there you go. And it has all the buildings. It has the, yeah, we can zoom back in on this one. You can see those. There we go. Hey Martin, how you doing today? See you later this week. There we go. 
So I do like that they at incorporated the, uh, the Royals stuff in there as well. So down here, all of these kind of, uh, I don't know, it kind of looks copper-ish, gold-ish color, coloring for the Nobles expansion building, so you don't have to have those off the board now. So that's a nice touch. Yes, this is available now. Um, so there we go. Okay, so this is, if you don't want to play with the expansion, this is with the expansion, and then the bank will just be, uh, the bank will just be off board. So there you go. Then uh, you have the colonists, which are short little discs. I'll, I'll bust these out real quick. And just like 99% of inserts, this will get tossed by me. So these are short little, yeah, there you go. You can see that the colonists, they're not tall di uh, markers. The nobles are the exact same height. And then you have the goods, which the goods are not the big deluxe ones from the, uh, from the limited edition. But there you go. Looks really good. So um, now I figure since I have the two editions, I might as well compare and contrast for those that don't have it at home or don't have it currently in front of them. No, no, the, this was an advanced copy. It no longer is the advanced copy. Uh, in other words, they, uh, they have, uh, this is out in stores right now. So there you go. All right, so we'll start with the player boards. Comparison of the new edition and the, uh, I guess, call it original edition that I have, or, you know, not deluxe edition. Okay. So, the one on the right, let's bring this, oop, other way, sorry guys, making your motion sick. All right, so we have new edition on the left, original edition on the right, okay? So, start with the covers, there you go, so you can see what you're looking at there, okay? So, context now, or comparison. So player boards there. Rule books. And not gonna bother going through it page by page, but gives you an idea on what it is you're looking at. So old version, new version, okay. Uh, obviously the New version also includes the expansion, whereas the old version does not have to buy it separately, so you have that, okay? All right, so there we have the player boards. Then the actual, uh, I don't know, uh, I guess buildings boards. So we have that and we have that. That's night and day. So this one has the expansion, uh, the nobles, otherwise the nobles uh, normally would have to be placed up here, okay? The aqueduct and the, uh, and the black market, um, Oh, no, what you're talking about, I believe, is, uh, Gasp, about the, um, the expansion buildings, a moment. The, give me just a moment, I'm looking at the, uh, at the uh, rule book here. So the new edition does include the aqueduct and the black market and everything, okay? Aqueduct and the black market. The reason you don't have a space for them, I'm assuming in, uh, on the new board, is just like in the original edition, if you play with the expansion, you basically draft these, and some these are for the base game right here, but obviously you're not going to have all of those out. You'll have them uh, replaced with the black market or the aqueduct, et cetera, et cetera. And then these are specific for the nobles. So there you go. So that's why it's, it's there. Oh, uh, okay. 
So, yeah, I agree. Um, there, what Kurt says, the fact that it's dark, it makes it a whole lot easier to see which buildings have been taken. Um, so we'll start with the wooden components. They're identical here. They're, they're the exact same shorter discs here for the colonists there. And the goods as well are identical there. All right, so I'm not gonna bother breaking those out. Um, obviously, I have not punched this yet, so you guys will have to bear with me a little here, but uh, we'll go ahead and kind of grab one of the punch boards to give you a, a, a various look at the tiles, and I will have to break out some of these. So let's grab similar. So you guys can see there at least for the rolls, there you go. Oh, captain, my captain. And then if we punch that out. There you go. Give you an idea. New version, older version. All right. Then uh, let's see for the ships. Trying to find them in the other edition. I apologize. A moment. There they are. All right, so now if we look at the newer ships and we look at the older ships, that's night and day. I would, I would definitely rec uh, prefer the, the newer edition versus the older edition, okay? The governor, which new governor, old governor, yeah, the artwork just looks way better in the new edition. Um, I think that's that's pretty clear at this point. Then let's find a large indigo plant. There we go. So then we have a Move those out of the way. And then let's look at some of the buildings here that aren't already punched. So move that back. Make sure I get these to their respective sides. So we have the new buildings and let's grab some of the older buildings. So just to give a little bit of context, there you go. So that's what it looks like on one side, and then we'll punch a couple of these. Here, we'll get them, uh, you know, apples to apples. So there to there, and on the other side, there you go. Anything else you guys want to see uh, the differences on? I mean, the bigger buildings also look way nicer, as you can see there, etc. It's functional. Yep, uh, totally right. Kabuki Kid, uh, the original edition, has very functional art. But I'll be honest, this isn't bad. Um, this is really clear. Like I said, when I, when I had the limited edition, um, I loved it. I thought it was real clean, and this is the same artwork from that. So there you go. Uh, the, the box quality is standard, like, just standard. It's not super thick, if that's what you're asking, William. Um, I mean, it's just, it's normal thickness, regular. There you go. Okay. There you go. All right, so if there's nothing else that you guys are specifically wanting to see, uh, overall, I would say that uh, I would say it's an improvement across the board. Um, so things that I wish 
I wish this were the limited edition, uh, but I know that's, that's unlikely to ever happen. So having experience with the limited edition, I'm sorry that I can't speak to or can't show you guys that because I no longer have that. But what I can tell you is the differences are, so it's the new artwork that you saw from the new edition, but it has uh, larger wooden pieces, it has metal coins, it has double thick cardboard, uh, the fancy thick box, you know, with a, with a kind of like gold foil uh, ship on the cover. I guess that's about it. The, me the metal coins and the, uh, the double thick pieces are really the only difference. And to be honest with you, I'd be perfectly fine with, with, with the new edition of it because it includes both the expansions as well. So there's that. All right. Can you check the rules to see if the corn player starts with a dollar less? I think that it's a, a pretty standard balancing rule. Um, sure, I can take a look. Uh, so, in fact, we will look together. So, let's see here. Um, for prep, let's see. Player board there, plantation. Here we go. The amount I'm looking... Colonies. I don't see anything where it says, uh, nope, three players, two doubloons, with four, three, and with five, four. Uh, the players store their, nope, no, it does not, it does not change anything with that, Kurt, okay? There you go. I, and Hunter, uh, your question about do I think they're going to release a 20th, anniversary edition in a couple years literally i don't know anything yes uh we have a uh we have a partnership for playthroughs with uh with rio grande but as far as any sort of like super secret information um all the information that we did have is pretty much public in info now uh the stuff that we did know is about the uh the expansion to New Frontiers that we played at Gamma, that was the super secret Tom Lehman uh, expansion that we played while we were at the Gamma trade show, which I, both Jess and I thought was fantastic. It was still in the balancing phase, and Jess destroyed me, Tom Lehman, and Bianca at New Frontiers. She had never played Race for the Galaxy, had never played uh, New Frontiers, and destroyed all of us, like by like 15, 20 points. And Tom was like, oh, might have to rebalance those tiles. Um, so if there is some rebalancing that takes place, you can thank Jess for that. Uh, but other than that, secret wise, I don't think, I, I know nothing about Puerto Rico. I'll be honest, the, this new edition here of Puerto Rico, I didn't even know about this um, until like an hour before it was announced. I was at, not in the loop regarding that either. So that was a big secret to me. So I do not know anything else. Do they have the two player rules in the rule set that, okay, let's go back to this and try one last thing. I mean, it is an unboxing for y'all, right? So let's see. Um, regular, I'm just looking for anything that calls out here for the two player specific. Has the buildings in there. It has, up oh, game for two, here you go. So yes, it has an entire page dedicated to the two player rules. So there you go. All rules for the basic game apply except for the following exceptions. And for those that are experienced with the game, just a little reference right there. All right, and then as I said, it has the new buildings uh, expansion included there, the rules for that, and the nobles there. So there you go. Okay. All right. All right. So there you go. Eventually you will see New Frontiers, and you will see New Frontiers with the new expansion uh, early on, as well as a couple other games. So I guess I do have a couple of secrets about games that we can't talk about yet that I think folks will be excited about. Um, but yeah, there you go. That is... 
Puerto Rico, the deluxe edition that I know was a, uh, um, and I, I mean this in a good way, a pet project for Jay who, uh, who runs Rio Grande. So there you go. Um, if you want the new artwork and the expansions included, I would recommend checking it out. The new artwork is beautiful, as you guys saw. So there you go. I will be back Friday with Quebec, with Quebec, which is a game from 2011 that almost nobody, it seems, knows about and that I think holds up really, really well. I warned everybody that if you want to get a cheap copy on the secondhand market to go and buy one now before we stream it on Friday. So hopefully uh, you guys will join us on Friday. So uh, let's see. Okay, fine. I will answer one more question. Kabuki Kid, which is going to be a non-answer. New Frontiers of Puerto Rico. I have not played New Frontiers without the expansion. I've only played New Frontiers that one time with the expansion. I've only played it once. I really enjoyed it. But Puerto Rico is a Hall of Fame game for me. So at this point, I would say Puerto Rico, but I've only played New Frontiers one time. So hopefully that answers uh, your question. All right. So there you go. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like and subscribe down below, especially the subscription. The likes are nice, but the subscription helps you guys, helps us. Everybody drives home in a Cadillac. You want to support the show one step further? Enjoy the, what is it, 754 patrons. Trying to get to 800 to upgrade to a new PTZ camera. Uh, so if you want to support the show, head over to pledgehc.com. Support the show there. It's a new month. You get to join us and the whole herd over on Slack, and you get a whole host of other benefits, including my teaching notes at the $10 and up level. So if you like the way I teach games, I write up my teaching scripts, and I follow those, and you guys get access to those as well. So thanks everybody. Hopefully uh, you guys have a wonderful Tuesday. If you are in the southeast coast of the U.S., be safe. Please hunker down. Hopefully Dorian stays off coast for everybody. I imagine eventually we're going to get some amount of rain from that as well. Uh, yeah, have a great rest of your week. Be kind to one another online and offline, and I'll see you guys on Friday. All right? Take care, everybody.